Um, I'm Mike Kara Turner. I'm Zachary Jones. I'm Justin Diaz. I'm Anthony Gomez. I'm Alejandro Arvello. And today and we will Anthony be presenting Gomez. the metal mining effects on water and soil conditions in the United States. Uh, so our, our thesis is, uh, to what extent has the increased amount of metal mining within the uh, years 1990 uh, to the present day impact the surrounding soil and water conditions in the United States? The problem. Over the past decade, the demand for metal has, the metal has significantly increased due to the rapid development of technology. So with the expansion of the metal mining demand, the amounts of metal being stripped from the earth has skyrocketed, leaving different major problems even beyond water and soil condition. So an example of this would be urban migration, health and economy, severe medical problems, and acid mine drainage. The solution. The best solution that will limit the growth and devastation of metal mining is to propose a federal act which over time influences technology companies to limit the amount of metal used within the product. The act proposed will provide guidance of money towards businesses in order for them to start the research of more environmental friendly materials such as thermoplastics. As these materials are being used, the demand for metal will decrease, limiting the amount of damages metal causes. This is the graph of how other resources such as thermoplastics can um, be used just as well as metal. Limitations to solution. Accessibility to alternative resources may be found at scarce levels which aren't abundant enough to withhold the material usage these immense companies need to efficiently produce their products. Companies may refuse to transition themselves from using metals to the alternative resources, even when with the additional funds for those resources. This could be due to geographic location that doesn't provide the alternative resources. Companies may not be able to equip those alternative resources for the specific products. They may be going through an in inevitable adjustment phase that these companies may just not have the time to go through. And the costs that outweigh the, the additional funds, which in turn hurts the company. This is called a negative to benefit ratio. With this being said, metal mining has significantly impacted surrounding soil and water conditions within the U.S. The impacts of drainage. Acid mine drainage is a phenomenon that occurs in both abandoned and active mine sites. It occurs when water flows over or through mine sites with sulfur-contaminated broken up rock, forming, forming sulfuric acid, which is highly acidic. This highly acidic water can be detrimental to aquatic ecosystems due to mucus forming in the hills of fish that live there. According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, between 20,000 and 50,000 mines are currently generating acid, demonstrating the importance of this topic. And according to the graph to the right, the most frequently occurring contaminants in both soil and groundwater is heavy metals, demonstrating the importance that metal mining has on surrounding soil and groundwater conditions. The effects of tailings and contaminants. Tailings are the mine are the mine waste of it's known as tail dams can include these tailings and they can become unstable with time. Thousands of tons of tailings present and can be destroyed after large periods of time. An example of this happening is the Mike Horse tailing impoundment, where approximately 90,000 tons of tailings led into Bear Trap Creek and Blackfoot River. And as shown to the graph of the right, um, since the year 1950s, the amount of tailing dams that have uh, been destroyed has significantly increased, demonstrating the importance. Effects of water and soil pollution from mine waste on humans. Um, so the contamination of water and soil uh, from metal mines uh, causes people to sp uh, face a lot of health problems. So uh, an example of this is in Oklahoma, uh, as you can see on the right, 
This is the Nemus River, where um, and basically a gold company, um, uh, gold mine, ended up dumping their waste into the river, which polluted the river and caused children who played in the river uh, in those surrounding weeks and months to have increased amount uh, of lead in their blood, which can later turn into a lot of health problems like uh, mental problems, lung problems, stuff like that. Uh, it is completely unethical to continue to allow these metal mining companies to pollute waterways and rivers, um, which will eventually cause people, and like I said, children, to eventually get harmed because of it. Effects of water and soil pollution from mine waste on the environment. Uh, so uh, this is very similar to the last. As you can see on the right side, that is a uh, a picture of a, of a stream of water going towards the uh, Animus River. Um, as you can see, it's all yellow, filled with all the gold residue uh, and uh, pollutants. Um, basically, pollution uh, from metal mines can cause rivers to be toxic to all kinds of life, which this basically means that uh, fish, uh, turtles, any kind of animals in or surrounding the water are going to be heavily impacted and get sick or potentially die because of the, the contaminated contaminated water and basically if we continue to let this happen uh, millions of more fish and other animals are going to die because of the, pol uh, the pollution in these rivers. Impact of mining industries on indigenous people. Mining poses the highest threat for indigenous people in the industry and indigenous people belong to the one of the most vulnerable sectors of society. So when large mining scale happens, it often leads to the loss of their lands, which poses a serious threat to their livelihoods. Mining leads to much conflict between the miners and indigenous people that live there. Mining activities and its social and environmental impacts pose a serious threat to indigenous ways of life and can potentially destroy important cultural and or spiritual sites. How money affects communities, which leads to our migration. Water in the neighborhood river is being diverted for mining, reducing the flow to about 600 people downriver whose lives and livelihoods are based on the land of water. So when that water does, does come downstream, it's contaminated already and it can harm the community's livestock or the community itself. And the loss of farmlands due to mining often uses urban migration within indigenous people. So because the, for an example of this is the opening of new mines, which triggers urban migration because the loss of their lands, which is their only sustainable source of survival. So as you can see on the right hand side of the, on the on this picture, it shows that there's no trees, it's eroded, there's no river flowing. So it causes these poor people to move and migrate somewhere else because they can't live there. Contaminated water effects on human health and economy. Heavily contaminated water leaves levels lead to drinkable water that isn't readily available anymore. In elaboration, water purifying companies in the United States need to pay more money for technology that can actually do the work, such as high cost infiltration systems. Poor population health is associated with lower savings rates, lower rates on return of capital, and lower levels of domestic and foreign investment. All these factors can and do contribute to reductions in economic growth. Contaminated waters lead to shortages of clean water causing poor sanitation, this leads to diseases such as cholera, giardia, and typhoid. Shown on the graph on the right of the screen are the health effects of acid mine drainage, with the highest amounts being on skin rashes, uh, diarrhea, and, uh, and abdominal pains. Polluted soil effects on human health and economy. Polluted soils can lead to farms producing contaminated foods or killing contaminated animals, which humans would soon consume and lead to diseases. These contaminated products are sent out to public markets, spreading diseases around in uncontrollable manners. Polluted soils lead to unsustainable agriculture and lowering the economy for farm owners and anyone in the food production industry. Shown on the graph provided on the right of the screen are the negative impacts of metal mining completely outweighing several of the biggest categories, including economy, income, and security, and dem demography and human rights. Goals on poverty and economic growth include issues like inflation and rising costs for the United States. The potential government solutions for mine source pollution. Several acts and laws have been set into place to help prevent um, this. The main causes of 
the Clean Water Act published 1972 established the base for the regulation of discharge of pollutants into U.S. waters. As well as that, the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System works to control the sources of water pollution, for example, metal mines. This organization also requires that mining operators receive permits to discharge pollutants into surface waters. This significantly helps lower the polluting because not all mining operations are capable of receiving the permit. Through the National Environmental Protection Act, all mines are required to manage stormwater runoff, lowering the discharge level significantly. The regulated quality standards set by the Clean Water Act cannot be met if metal mining continues this way. Taking a look at the graph, we can see that mining is in the top five industries required to have a permit per the Clean Water Act. This goes to show just how big of an impact the industry is on water conditions. Now, another solution is fining. As we can see by looking at the graph, um, once a required fine of $1,000 per pollution violation was placed in 2013, we can see a substantial decrease in water pollution reports in comparison to the prior years. That being said, though, these measures once worked in the past, they aren't as efficient and successful nowadays. So that's why we are implementing our new solution to form an act that limits the amount of metal used in technology products, limiting the need to mine metal. Uh, the increase of metal has significantly affected soil and water conditions throughout the United States. And with this comes a, a large amount of problems and the best solution to solve these problems is to find an environmental friendly um, other resource such as thermoplastic polymers, which are easily recyclable and are lighter and stronger than most metal. Do you have any questions? I do have a question for each one of you. Um, okay. We'll start off with, um, Makari, you're up first with the question. Describe how the content of the team presentation was changed as a result of your group discussions. Um, so I know that Specifically for my part, um, I was more focused on how um, like laws and regulations have helped and I didn't really focus on how, like I didn't focus on any issues or problem areas, which like kind of contradicted the problem and solution that we came up with. So we talked about it and I came up with a way to implement the um solution into my part all right thank you anthony you're up <clears throat> in the future what changes would you make to your group norms and how do you think that that would help your presentation honestly uh meeting way more like making more of uh, virtual meetings because that would really really improve our presentation and it gives us more time to uh practice and get better at what we're what we're presenting all right thank you justin uh, reflecting on every, your teammates' work, everyone in your group, who's had the biggest influence on you uh, making you understand this issue better? Uh, so I'd probably say uh, my Cara because she had a lot of the potential solutions that we could have used to, uh, to kind of solve them we have all together. Okay, um, Zach. Uh, in what way did you improve with your ability to work as a group because of this project? Um, I improved greatly on like the uh, communicating with my group members because it was kind of hard over this digital platform to you know, discuss ideas. So I feel like I improved getting out and like um, rising as a leader and being like, oh, we need to meet this day so we can get this done, you know. Okay, and then uh, Alejandro, you saved the best for last, right? What's the strongest counter argument to the solution that your team came up with? You're muted, dude, can't hear you. The strongest counter argument to the solution that we came up with was basically the counter argument that we first had to find an alternative to the usage of the metal mining. So the counter argument that we found was basically using these thermoplastic polymers, which are easily recyclable and they were a lot better and efficient than the use of the metal mining and all of its 
uh, negative impacts that it had on the United States.